Dude, these right here. I like these just because of the fucking name, dude. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Oh, that's cool. Ice day. Yeah. Um, I, I've tried those. Those are good. Oh, yeah. yeah, dude. I love these, dude. But my, I like my pretty barber, much... My barber drinks those. I like pretty much anything Lost 40 puts out, dude. Mm-hmm. And they're just right up the fucking road. I'm pretty much all about fucking supporting local small business. Yeah. Are we recording? Because, dude, I'd love to put a shout out to fucking yeah. local Yeah, yeah, business. me too. Right. I, we're talking about it, so I'm going to record my uh, barber. So he's a local business. He's All good. right, yeah. I didn't know if you had paused it when we went outside or not. No, so. we're good. All right, yeah, dude, but... We're rolling. Yeah, but, dude, Lost 40, dude, they're fucking awesome, dude. Everything they put out is fucking delicious. Um... But this have a nice day, dude. It's fucking Arkansas winter IPA. Fucking absolutely delicious. But they're right here in Little Rock, dude. I love supporting fucking small businesses. You know, Thank my God. parents are small business owners. My my sister and brother-in-law are small business owners. So, all about local businesses. You know how different kind of flavors or what? Oh, yeah, dude. Um, I don't know uh, how experienced you are with craft beer. Uh, no, I'm not very experienced. All right, Sorry. so... Um, when it comes to craft beer, dude, you're like, everything can have, like, a completely different flavor, dude. Like, mm-hmm. one of them in there that I have in there, like... No, I know that. <laughs> it's like wine and everything else, you know, like, I understand that. There's, yeah, but... And I've tried a lot of different... When we went to Montana, we've tried... We went to a restaurant, I forgot what it was called. I had a lot of draft beer and we tried a little shot of every kind. It was crazy. Yeah, dude. But, like so many different flavors. Mm-hmm. And the way they can work flavors in like that you don't expect a beer to taste like. Like there's, I got one in the fridge. Um, it's called uh, like My Current Mood or something like that. And it's a cher- cherry, uh, cherry and currant ale. Dude, it tastes like, like, um, like a cranberry, like cranberry juice, dude. It tastes like cranberry juice. It's absolutely delicious, dude. And it's beer. And it's like 6%, dude. Get you drunk as shit. But, mm-hmm. dude, and it's it's a Lost 40 beer. So Lost 40 is the company name? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, Lost 40 Brewery. Shout out to Lost 40. I haven't tried y'all yet, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it because Austin has referred y'all. Uh, didn't you say you've had the Love Honeys? Oh, that's them? Yeah, dude, oh, that's okay, Lost okay. 40. So y'all, yeah. Hey, okay, yeah, okay. Dude. Hey, shout out to like, shout Dude, out to Love Honey, dude. Love Honeys is where it's at, dude. That's that's probably... I, I've, I've, I've drank more Love Honeys than I have any other Lost 40 beer. Uh, Love Honey, bro. Love Honey? Hey, I, I like it. Oh, yeah. So where can I get them at? Uh, dude, Kroger carries, carries them. Uh, pretty much most of the liquor stores around here will have it. Plus, dude, the uh, their brewery's just fucking right. You can go right down to the brewery and get it, dude. Not chicken bones. No, we don't get. Uh, if you chicken bones will splinter, dude, and they can. Uh, oh, and mess with their. Uh, yeah, mess up their digestive tract and stuff. Shout if anybody out there is contemplating giving your dog chicken bones, don't do it. Just a PSA: chicken bones are not good for dogs. They can splinter. And it can cause all kinds of problems down the digestive tract and cause lots of very expensive vet bills. So, do not give your dogs chicken bones. Give them rooster bones. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much any other kind of bones. Uh, pretty much just not poultry bones. No chicken, no turkey. You can give them pork bones, beef bones. Oh, they can tear those up down. Yeah. You can break those down. Yeah, they they you know pretty much just chew them up, but the uh, the the poultry bones they splinter, mm-hmm. so that's uh that's the problem with those. That's interesting. Those are interesting facts that we all need yeah. to learn. Dude, I know a little bit about a lot of stuff, but I don't know a whole lot about anything. I heard that saying. Right? There, there, there's two things I like to say a lot. You can hit it. <laughs> <laughs> There's two things I like to say a lot. That's that. You know, I like, I know a little bit about a lot of stuff, but I don't know how to, don't know a whole lot about anything. And, uh, you pretty much, I'm sure you, you can probably guess what my other saying is. And that's every day is a good day. If you make it a good day. Facts. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's just all about your outlook, all about your, your, you know, having a positive out, positive attitude. You know, if you, 
if you go to work looking for it to be a bad day, it's going to be a bad day. Yep. There's a lot of people that wake up in a bad mood, so you have a bad day. Really? Go lay down. I'm very optimistic. And then there's a lot of times where I may have to start having a bad day, but I always try to make it into a good one. There's a there there's something positive to come out of everything. Yeah. You learn. Alright. I'm trying to think. What other music do I want to get into tonight? Mm. Dude. The thing is, dude, I mean I could go all night talking about music. Well we could end it off and in the last ten minutes. Talk about your purpose. What drives you? What you want to do? What your purpose is in life? Mm. So we want to give a big shout out to Austin. Hey. Shoot, man. I don't know about... I feel like my purpose in life is just to, just to be a positive impact on others. Just to... Uh, you know... The, the main thing in my life is... You know, I've created life. You know, uh, I have a daughter... Shout out to Ruby Taylor, my little trickster. Um, I call her my trickster because she was supposed to be a boy. See, we got the blood test that said, oh, you're going to have a boy. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> and then uh, we got an ultrasound and my boy didn't have no boy parts. So, you know, I call her my trickster. <laughs> but, you know, not that uh, not that I'm disappointed that I didn't have a boy or anything at all. Nothing like that. You know, I'm just happy to, you know... That my my main goal, I, I keep I say my main goal in life, like not like I always dreamed of having a family. Mm-hmm. Like I wanted to have a family. Like that's w- good to know because some people, what I, mean, I like what I wanted to do for a living, you know, my career, or whatever, you know, that what what I wanted, you know, my dream, what I thought of, you know, that changed so many times. Yeah. But some people just want that. Whatever. I always knew I wanted to have a family, dude. And I have that. I have an amazing wife. I have a beautiful little girl. Okay. You know, that's, that's, uh, I feel like, you know, that's what, what was supposed to be, you know, what, you know, what my main goal was, what, was to make sure there was another generation. You you were you destined to be heck yeah. Yeah. You know, sure. Um Am I meant to do more? Maybe. You know, I'm totally open to that. You know, I'm always looking for the next opportunity. You know, if God leads me somewhere else, you know, opens another door for me, I'm I'm fully open to take that. But, you know, this is this is where I feel like I was led. This is where I wanted to be. You know? Shit. You're enjoying it. You're enjoying it. Exactly. You know, I feel like I'm going to control what I can control and uh, leave the rest to God and, you know, just let that's, it be. That's how I am, bro. I like to enjoy the moment because we don't know. We don't know if tomorrow will be here. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yesterday done passed. We ain't guaranteed nothing but right now. Exactly. So I definitely have plans for the future. Because I don't think about just me. I think about my son. You know? Right. And in my moment, I'm, I love my son enough to think about his future. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Everything I do now depends on if I were to not be here tomorrow, how would he How would he end up being? Right. You know? Is he going to be okay? Yeah, exactly. Is he going to be taken care exactly. of? Exactly. That's right. What, that's what my every moment is pretty much. I feel you on that for sure, mm-hmm. dude. I'm... You know that that I feel the same way, dude. I want to make sure that that Amber and Ruby are taken care Thank of. You. you know, I think kids teach you a lot. Just having a kid teaches you a whole lot. It's crazy, dude. It, if you're willing to learn, it does, dude. And I'm, dude. I thought I was ready. Like I knew, like you know, everyone says, you know, even if you think you're ready, you're not ready. No one's ever ready. You yeah. know. There's no really and it, time. like and I right and I knew that like I wasn't ready financially, like I knew that, but like I thought I was ready emotionally. Mm-hmm. I thought you know, I was ready physically to be a dad. Like, no, <laughs> like it's nothing like what you expect. Like, like it's a it's a it's like 
You're responsible for a whole other human being. Actually, too. <laughs> right. Like, you got to make sure this this little this little human being doesn't grow up to be a total asshole. <laughs> you got to be a contributing member of society. You know. Yeah. yeah. Like, and, and not even them, their generation, dude, be and, following behind them. You said, let's talk about my purpose. Like, that's what I feel my purpose is now. To to make sure my offspring contribute. Yeah. To make sure they're not a burden to everyone else. Yeah, that's good. That, and also, that they stand up for what they believe in. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to tell them what they have to believe in. But I want them to know that whatever it is. Yeah. yeah that, to, you know, to think for themselves, to be independent, but to be firm in what you believe. Yep. Know what you believe and why you believe it and stand up for it. Like I said, my main goal in life, shit always changed, you know, as far as, you know, what my dream career was, mm-hmm. you know, my dream job. Um, But one thing was always constant and that was that I wanted to have a family. You know, I have a family. I've got an amazing wife, beautiful little daughter. You know, and I feel like now my purpose in life is to make sure that she and any other offspring I have, you know, they grow up to be contributing members of society, you know, that they work to better exactly themselves and their environment and Prosper. everyone around them. Yeah, make positive, positive, and, positive outcome. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and just be firm in what they believe, you know, don't don't fall for, you know, whatever somebody tells you. You know, don't don't believe it just because I tell you to believe it. You know, think for yourself. You know, become independent, but be firm in what you believe. Know what you believe and why you believe it, mm-hmm. and stand up for that. And I believe in it, if you do that, you know, Follow your what heart. more can you ask for? You know, Follow your heart. I respect anybody that stands up for what they believe. Spread love. You know? Follow your heart. Next, exactly. exactly, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Even if I don't, even if I don't agree with what you believe in, I respect you for standing up for what you believe. You know, yes. but thank you, bro. Thank you for, thank you for being one of those. <laughs> <laughs> but God. Dude, I feel like we've been all over the place tonight, and uh, dude, I kind of wanted to play one more song to end it out. Let's with. do it. And um, it's it's called Truck by Hardy, and it's uh, you can't judge a book by its cover, but you can judge a country boy by his truck. <laughs> and uh, you know, I feel like and and you know some of the lyrics in the song. If uh, if you know a little bit about me, then you'll kind of see where I can relate. But uh. And I feel like even if you're not, you know, a country boy or whatever, you know, you you can relate to the some of the imagery of the song, the you theme, know, the theme, the theme yeah. of it, yeah, you know. But uh, I'm just, I'm gonna go ahead and play the song. Play "Truck" by Hardy. Truck by Hardy, sure. Playing on YouTube Music. But yeah, dude, I appreciate you fucking having me on, dude. I'd like to do it again sometime. Yeah, me too, bro. Fucking, uh, maybe we can get into a little more of the music and what makes me me. But uh, but heck yeah, yeah. had a great time, bro. For real, bro. Um, I think the 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 aesthetics behind what we see and what we do, like what we create, as far as like our style and like our cars and shit, like you know, pretty much, and the music, definitely. Builds us. Right. Because it has stories behind it. Right. And, and meaning, pretty much. If, everything you do is influenced by something that happened to you. Heck yeah. True facts. So, but, either something that you liked or you didn't like. Yeah. For real. Yeah. And sometimes you, you just have to learn that you're not. it's not always going to be pleasant. It's not always going to be a smooth road. It's going to be bumpy sometimes. That's right. You just got to <laughs> make the mess. You Heck, make yeah. the mess of it. Make Make the best of the mess. Get you some mud ties because it's going to get bumpy. That's right. I like that. I like that. All right. Let's get it. I appreciate you joining, bro. bro. Um, On the next one, bro. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait for our next time with. Time with Austin. Here we are. And we're out. Thank you.